We began this homeschooling project in the same way we do when faced with any other new challenge of brains. With great enthusiasm and a desire to provide our students with the best we possibly can. And with an ongoing commitment to technological innovation while at the same time showing flexibility towards the individual needs that our pupils and their families might have in such very special circumstances. In an effort to meet these individual needs and respond to our family's requests, we have been implementing gradual changes and transforming our homeschooling into a vibrant, flexible and individualised project. We are very proud to tell you that we have acted in advance of the recommendations from the Ministry of Education and the Regional Government of Madrid. We have seen that not only has our educational approach been the correct one, but that it has gone significantly beyond what was recommended. In infants, we have been sending our children the songs and stories which they particularly enjoy and which our teachers record daily. We have been providing educational resources to use at home and online contact with teachers so that they can stay in touch with their classmates. We are constantly reviewing the syllabus in order to be able to deliver it in a more attractive and intuitive digital format. We have also even created a bank of songs and stories which they can access at any time. In primary, our pupils from 1 to 4 have been adjusting to a digital approach and we now know that in many cases they are able to work independently. On the classroom websites which contain teaching material and explanatory videos, the pupils can follow the curricular content that we have planned before this situation arose. We have increased the number of hours allocated to teacher-pupil video conferences. Specialist teachers have also been posting material on the websites and have given greater prominence to their weekly presence. We have created a timetable for each year group to serve as a guideline for when pupils are organising their daily routine. From next week onwards, you will be able to have access to the website to a platform where we can be submitting work and on this website you will find tutorials on how we're going to use the new platform. In lower and upper secondary, we remain committed to proceeding with the teaching syllabus in order to meet the learning objectives for each year group. We have just increased the number of hours allocated to video conferences within the scheduled timetable we already had. We have included more contact hours for languages, added one hour for tutor groups, and even provided time for a webinar where our pupils and their families will be able to do CrossFit. Finally, we have redesigned the assessment system and made it more appropriate to this situation. You will be informed about all of these measures and even given a recap of our home schooling project by your children's tutors. We are also introducing a more professional and stable video conferencing platform across the whole school in collaboration with Cisco. In order to promote a better work-life balance, we have created a children's television channel, which we are launching on the 23rd of April to coincide with Book Day, and which we hope will thrive and grow from the contributions of the entire school community. We believe that now, more than ever, we should be united and nurture the community that we call family. We will be together again.